I'm Jake and we're back with another Down and Dirty where we take simple projects and create quick solutions. Today we're going to redesign a grill top, so let's get into it. So the only thing that we need from the old grill is the overall dimensions in this radius since it's going to go inside the top of the barbecue. So I went ahead and took those already and let's go straight to the CAD. We're going to start with just a simple rectangle. We're going to use a center rectangle. And we can put in our dimensions of 17.3 and 17.3. So now we have our overall size of our grade. We're going to add some corner radiuses here. And I went ahead and took those measurements also already. And that is 2.875. So now we have the overall dimensions of our grill laid out. What we're gonna go ahead and do is create a border that's gonna be the outside of the top. And then we're gonna create a hex pattern on the inside, which will be a new interesting way of doing a grill top. And then we'll do a little fancy um, SVG work. So to create that outside border, we're just gonna create an offset. We're gonna move it in. We're gonna create a half inch border on the outside. And we're gonna go ahead and actually extrude this now. So 0.125, there we go. Actually, I think I wanna change that border to be just a little bit thicker. So we're gonna come back in, we're gonna modify this, minus 0.625. So just a little bit thicker. When I finish sketch, it goes ahead and automatically updates our extrusion. Now we're gonna create a new sketch. We're gonna create it on here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create and we're gonna use Polygon. The cool thing about Polygon is when we open this up, it creates already a hexagon shape. If we have six here, we can change the six to eight if we wanna do an octagon, um, but we're gonna go ahead and stick with this hexagon shape. So we're gonna click here. What we can do is we can set ourselves to have horizontal top so that orients our hexagon. We can throw one dimension in here at one inch and then that's going to actually fix our um, hexagon um, in size. We're going to do one more hexagon just off to the side here. It'll make a little more sense. We're going to do one more. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to fix it. We're going to make it equal in shape here. And then what I typically do is I'll do one from here to here. And then we're going to make that perpendicular. And that sets these so that there's spacing this way. Lastly, we're gonna just put one dimension of 0.325 in here. That's gonna set our spacing on our hexagon. We're gonna make this a construction line so it doesn't make our extrusion process any more difficult. If we zoom out, we have essentially our pattern there. So now what we can do is a rectangular pattern. I can select this bottom one. And now what we wanna do is have a spacing that goes past it and um, above, right? So we can start seeing that. And so what we're gonna do here is all we need to do is put our spacing dimensions and we're gonna make it in both directions and that's gonna lay out one hexagon. And then what we're gonna do is the exact same thing to fill in all the other gaps. So we're gonna go ahead and just go through that now. Okay, so now that we have the hex pattern actually displayed across the entire grid, the beauty of doing the border first is now all of a sudden we just have to extrude just the center of it. So we're gonna come in here, extrude, and we can click just in the center. Oh, we need to project first. We're gonna go back to our sketch. We need to project that outside border on. Click OK. Okay, now we have this beautiful hex pattern is now projected inside of our border. We're gonna go ahead and rotate that up. And we can see here, we just need to bring this up. What I'm gonna do is just create two object, click here, and click OK. So now that we have the hex pattern set, we're gonna put one more polygon in the center of this that we can put our logo through it. We're using an SVG. We're 
gonna create one more sketch on this plane. And what we're gonna do is we wanna orient it the same way. We're gonna make this corner coincident with this corner. And so now what we end up having is we're gonna have one solid um, hexagon right in the center of this. And then we're gonna put that SVG in the center. So let's go ahead and extrude this. Roll this up. Two object. And we wanna make sure that we're joining. Now we have that beautiful center point. So the last thing that we wanna do is add an SVG file, which is a typical file that we get from graphic designers. Um, what we're gonna do is create a sketch and then I'll show you how to insert it. So we're gonna create that sketch on this plane and we're, all we're gonna do is insert SVG. We're gonna have this on our computer here for laser. And then what we can do is rotate this down. Oftentimes, this doesn't come in um, in the orientation that you want because we're having two different softwares that are creating these files. So a lot of rotation sometimes is needed. We're gonna put this in. Make sure we're looking at it. And we're just gonna do our best to center this in here now. That's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and put extrude now. We're gonna extrude each one of these features. Hold up, and it's gonna pull it straight through. And there we go. We have our grill top ready to go. So let's go ahead and create our DXF like always, get it on the website and get these parts made. So we're gonna verify 17.3 looks correct. We're gonna go into our metals our stainless steel, we're gonna use our 304 stainless steel, and we're gonna make this out of 187 thick material. We'll go ahead and hit next. We only want one of these. We can verify everything looks really good here. Click next. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add deburring to this. Now we're ready to go in the cart. Let's go ahead and order these parts, get them through manufacturing, and get to grilling. <music> Now that is what I call a down and dirty grill. For more information on stainless steel, check out the link below. I'm gonna get grilling. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.